Hello again, Mike Moriarty here with the Informa Tides team with another edition of Tides TV. Today, we're happy to be speaking to Martin Rabel, a senior field application scientist with Precision Nano Systems. Martin, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Exciting to do this interview, and I'm also excited for the Tides meeting coming up. Absolutely. Yeah, we all are uh, getting looking forward to that uh, coming up uh, in November in Europe. Uh, we wanted to certainly discuss with you and get to a few interesting topics having to do with precision nanosystems. And the first one being, how does precision nanosystems support scientists in the discovery, development, and manufacture of mRNA therapeutics and vaccines? Thanks for that one. So basically, it's with employing and using the genomic medicine toolkit that we offer for our clients, which means that we have solutions that span across the whole development funnel of genomic medicine. So we supply clients with RNA technology, lipid nanoparticle technologies, as well as with a manufacturing platform. And we tie all together with our drug development expertise, really helping clients from the bench all the way to the clinic, helping them at these different stages with these different technology. Yeah. What applications and areas of interest does Precision Nanosystems support? I think that's that that's tied in with the genomic medicine toolkit. So first and foremost, it's genomic medicine. So anything that is non-rival, delivery-based, and RNA-based is what we can help our clients with that are we interested in and that we want to expand in. But it's not only limited to that, I would say. So basically, we can enable any client to do any nanomedicine, right? So we are a company that offers nanomedicine-based technologies that are especially used for genomic medicines, but also other applications like liposomes for small molecules and protein delivery or polymeric nanoparticles. So it's quite diverse, but definitely in the nanomedicine space. Martin, can you just expand a little bit more on the lipid nanoparticle technology? It was so critical for the development of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine. Yeah, for sure. I, I can do that. That's that's like the bread and butter of my daily work and also what we do at Precision. So as we all know, RNA is, is, is quite a large molecule, right? So it needs a delivery vehicle to enter cells to go to the target tissues. And that's what the lipid nanoparticle does. So it unpacks this RNA and delivers it, simply saying, into its target cell where it does its magic and a protein is produced or something is silenced, depending on what kind of RNA you are using. That's the easy answer, but the difficulty here is basically finding the right lipid mix, finding the right lipid composition, ionizable lipid, really the right chemical structures and compositions to enable impactment of the RNA, transport of the RNA, protection of the RNA, and then translation into yeah, your biological um, result at the end. That's what it is. That's what LMP, LMP do. Um, I hope this answered that question quite briefly. Yes, yeah, certainly that was uh, really an integral part of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine. Um, and finally, uh, just going into the, the current challenges, trends that you're seeing in the industry right now. For sure, I can, I can definitely speak on that. So what we see with especially on medicine, so I will focus mostly on that because that's like the core of our industry. We see in a niche to mainstream, right? So when I look at when I started my work with precision nanosystems like almost four years ago, RNA medicines or RNA LMPs were quite of a niche product. But now, speaking of the last question we had with the success these COVID vaccines had, we really see that everyone wants to develop now these RNA LMPs and experiencing the the vast um, possibilities these RNA LMPs can can offer you. So niche to mainstream, that's one trend I see. And our technology really helps clients with that, having an easy entry and only thinking about the RNA payload, and we can take off, uh, care of the rest and really help people to get into this market. We also see a high degree of um, diversification, I would say. So we have now on the market RNA LMP vaccines for COVID. That's basically it, and we have the siRNA LMP for on, uh, on Patro. But I think it's not limited to that. We see now that this technology is used for numerous clients, again, niche to mainstream, for really, really different application infectious disease vaccine, oncology vaccines, uh, orphan, orphan diseases or rare diseases. So everything you can think of can be targeted with RNA and people want to do that. 
And I think another big thing I learned, or we all learned, is that we have an urge for decentralized manufacturing. We saw so many supply chain issues also with medicals. We saw problems with distributing these vaccines throughout the world. So we see the urge that each country or region wants to implement its own manufacturing sites. And we also uh, help with that in numerous regions. And it's it's pretty exciting to do that. And I think it will ensure um, a good healthcare, a good, good um, access to these medicines going forward for, for, for patients too. So I think those are the three things, niche to mainstream, diversification of the RNA LMP landscape, as well as um, going to a decentralized uh, manufacturing. Yeah. Really good insights and trends uh, there. Uh, and unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. But we certainly do want to thank Martin Rabel and Precision Nano Systems again for his time. And we want to thank you, the viewer, as well, for tuning into another edition of Tides TV. And until next time, this is Mike Moriarty with Informa Life Sciences. Have a great day.